This is going to be a short video. We're just going to download a free tool from Microsoft from GitHub, which is called Microsoft Win32 Content uh, Prep Tool. And it's free. So let's search for that. So we'll put uh, Microsoft Win32 con Content Prep Tool. Let's put the uh, GitHub here. And I will put the link in the description to this page. It's not that difficult to find. So here is the tool that we really want, IntuneWinAppUtil.exe. This is the tool that's going to package all our source folder into a format called IntuneWin, which we will later upload to Microsoft Intune. What's worth to notice here is the prerequisite. You need .NET Framework 4.7.2 or later, and you must read the license term. It's totally free, but it's basically saying that Microsoft takes no responsibility or support this tool. So you do use it on your own risk, but it's it, it works good for me at least. So let's download this file, go to the file, and you can download the README and read that and release note. I'm just going to download the Intune Win app util.exe and hit download. It's a small file, smaller than two megabyte. Oh, it's very small. So I'm going to open the folder and you can uh, copy. I'm going to cut because I like to have it clean. And then we go to the root of the C into our Intune folder. And I think it's a good idea to paste this one into our template. So each time we create a new package, we already have it. I will copy this into the packages that we already have created as well. And I have kept the Google Chrome. I kept the one with the PowerShell installer. I'm going to paste the, that one in here. And the Mozilla Firefox, I kept the one with the CMD installer. We did MSI and CMD for both, but I'm just keeping two now. So that's it. Now we have the tool. In the next video, we're going to use this tool to put the Intune Win format into the output folder for both Google Chrome and Mozilla Firefox. That's in the next video. Great. Great job.